guys, um, today I'm just going to go through how to make breakout rooms. Um, and hopefully this is useful for all of you in the future when you want to do breakout rooms. So um, Katie is here um, because she's asked me to go through them with her. So I'm going to talk directly to her as well, but then you guys can figure it out yourselves. So first things first, um, go to your participant list, which is here. And basically the only person who can make breakout rooms is the organizer, Katie. So you need to make sure that that person is labeled as organizer. Um, so the one who booked the meeting can is the only one that can do the breakout rooms. I don't think you can um, make anyone else an organizer. So just make sure that you know that in advance. Um, and then the next thing, so Obviously, I'm organizer. So at the top here, you can see that I've got lots of different tabs for different things. Mm -hmm. This one here is your breakout rooms tab. So yeah. you click on here. And then you can already see that I've actually already got some breakout rooms available here. So now when you um, I'm going to remove all the rooms. Actually, I'm not going to remove all the rooms because then I won't be able to do it. But basically, when you do this, you will get a sign which says, actually, let me see if I can get that sign up. Mm, I probably can't. Let's just delete all the rooms. I'll just delete all the rooms. It will make it easier for us. Yeah. I should have prepared in advance. I didn't, <laughs> but never mind. <laughs> okay. It's quite self explanatory after some um, trial and error. So we'll just go back to that list. So when you go to create a breakout room and click on that button at the top, you will get this page basically. So the rooms that you want to create, so depending on how many numbers you want, you click on this, so we'll say five. So if you want five breakout rooms and then they're really good at creating, they'll assign them automatically for you or you can manually choose to put the people in whichever room you want. Now, I always do automatic just because it means that random people can be in random groups. And then what I do is I assign a chair. So, for example, at the last meeting where we had um, or two months ago where we had the less than full time team, I think, who did some breakout rooms, they wanted one member of their less than full time team um, in each breakout room. So I just got them to tell me who they wanted in each room and I moved them around rather than moving the people around, which I will show you how to do in a second. So, um, Katie, I don't know for what you will need the breakout rooms for and if you need something similar. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm not quite sure. I think probably, yeah, mainly automatically. And then, like you say, possibly needing a chair in each one. Similar yeah, thing. fine. So I'll show you. I think that's basically probably the one that most people will use the most. So I'll show you how to do that. So automatically assign people um, and they'll break the numbers up evenly into five rooms, create the rooms. Oh. Well, that's not great, is it? <laughs> oh, this is making me sad. I think Emma seems has been playing up a bit this morning. I'm not sure what yours was doing earlier, but mine. Let me see. Um, what I might do is I'll just show you. So when you click on that, it definitely it just basically creates your rooms for you. I'll just create them here. And what it'll do is it'll come up automatically. You won't have to click here pressing add rooms, but you can add more if you want. Yeah. So it'll just come up automatically here. And then basically what you can do. So it's really great because you can rename each room to whatever you want it to be. So um, group one or whatever, and then you can rename it. Um, etc. And then here is where it says assign participants. So usually what will happen is everyone will already be in their group because we automatically put them in. Now, for example, I'm just going to put Katie in a room. So Katie, I'm going to assign to group one. OK, now once yeah. she's assigned to this group, she's here. You go to group one and she's here. Now, if I want to move her to a different room, it's easy to do. You just move her here and assign her to the next room. So 
everyone will already be pre-populated because they've automatically been put into the room. And then if you want to move a chair around, so Katie is the chair, you go to that room, click on her and assign her to the next room that you want her to chair. OK, and once you've done that, you can start rooms and you click on here and it will start the rooms. As the organiser, you won't be in any of the rooms, but you can actually move from room to room. So I'll show you how to do that as organiser. So we can start the room. So Katie, see you in a bit. Mm -hmm. If it works, it always takes a little longer. So Katie, you can see, is leaving and I'm still stuck here. So as the organiser, I am I'm able to move from room to room. So I can click on here and I can um, join the room. OK, so I can join the room. Hello. He is back in the room. Now, if you are, so I guess when people are in the rooms, we're going to need to move them around. So we'll just, I'll just show you how to do that. So it's the same principle. So once you've started the room, um, Katie, you're going to jump from room to room now, okay? So okay. we're going to start room again. Hopefully. So you can see that Katie is now in room nine. Now, if as the organizer, her 15 minute workshop has finished and we want her to move to the next room. You just click on her and then assign her and move her to room 10. So you will see that it says that she's being moved to room 10 and in a minute she'll pop up at room 10. Again, this whole process takes a bit longer, just to let you know. Okay. And that's it. So Katie is now in room 10. Ah. Do you want to show your screen again, Keisha, or is that? Oh, did I not? Share my screen. Only very briefly for the middle bit, but just to sort of see the end. Oh, my sh screen should be shared. Um, we're in main room. Yeah, that's perfect. Can you see it? Yeah, perfect. Great. So that's basically what you do, really. So it's click on the breakout rooms, then assign your participants. So decide how many rooms you want initially and then if you want to manually put people in or if you want to automatically um, assign people um, then basically on this side it will show all your rooms with your assigned people already and then when you click on the drop down menu for each room you can move people around to each room that they want by selecting their name and assigning them to a different room and then start rooms is there and end rooms for the organizer will be there after um, everyone goes to their rooms and um, add a room here if you need to. If you want to manually do it, then when you, um, I'm just going to remove you. Oh, I am going to unassign you. So if you want to manually do it, so when that initial option came up and it said manually put people into rooms, basically click on assign when you get your five or six rooms created 
all the participants will be in here as a long list and then you can click on them and again assign them to whichever room you want basically um it depends i mean the only times i've used breakout rooms is when i've had more than 30 people so it's quite tedious to have to manually do that um so that's why i just randomly and also it's nice just to have everyone in random rooms and meeting new people um but yeah that's it uh katie did you have any questions no that makes sense so if for instance, somebody else is doing a presentation and you're the organiser. Can you do any of this whilst the presentation is going on or not? Yes, really? yeah. You can. Yeah. So if somebody else is sharing their screen, you can be doing this on your team's behind yeah. the scenes. Yeah, so you, you, um, I usually do it whilst other people are presenting and I'm like busy in the background sorting out the rooms for the next workshop, basically. So you can do it. And as long as you don't click start rooms, yeah, I assign you as long as you don't click start rooms, you're fine because otherwise you will start the rooms and then it's a and then you have to bring everyone back. So that's fine. But you can do all of this remotely. Perfect. Anything else? No, that's all I can think of. Thank you. Great. No problem. It's all right. I'm going to stop recording now, but um, hopefully that was useful. <laughs>